Hello guys, uh, first of all sorry for a very late upload of the video because of I was having fever yes I've been making many excuses in this month and the last month too because the videos were uh, very late so uh, now I'll be uploading uh, like every day a new video uh, like until 30 that uh, upload dates are fixed so let's start with the Enigma version 6 review in this video in the very late review and also I will tell you what bugs are this and is this ROM uh, stable or unstable so let's start with this honest review <laughs> So many of you guys have been complaining about the play store bug and all the bugs we have in this uh, uh, Enigma version 6 ROM so uh, let's uh, I have not signed in so uh, you can see the VLT is working so this is great uh, VLT is working so I will now uh, sign into my play, uh, Google account so I will sign in uh, so as you can see I have just signed into my account and many of you people have told you that the play store bug is like uh, when we are going to uh, open any app or something then we uh, see that it's not supported for device so yes i have uh, tried it so with the youtube studio app uh, youtube studio you can see that i can see this app here and it says it is not supported your device is not compatible with this version but my device has been compatible with this version and all versions. It's not, like not my device is running Android OS or something or Android like uh, some paranoid Android or something. It's a really normal Android and see it is a asset ROM. We can see all ROMs working. One more uh, thing I have forgot. Okay, one more thing I need to tell you that the Super SU, the root access is not been working properly. So See, it's rooted and I will set the default access to grant so that we don't need to do it now I will uh, download the build job editor so So wait until I have downloaded it. So uh, gratefully the build plug editor is installed and you can see I have granted the uh, root access See here it has been granted root permissions but when I click here and edit something, so we will edit something uh, easier. Not this. So I edit the product dot model number and set it to SM J seven double zero F, the original one. Oh sorry. Done. Now while I try to save this, okay, full screen. See while I try to save this, it will say error saving build prop. So the root permissions are granted. I don't know why the root is not working. I have flashed every old version and newer version of the Super SU, but still it's not working. And I don't know if it works with the Magic SU. So uh, these were the bugs that I have uh, got you. So if you are not clear with these bugs, so please do not download this ROM. I will tell you to download the VizUX. It's a great ROM or the DNA beta. So let's go to the settings now to see how many RAM free. Now nothing is like wrong in this ROM only these two things I think are not working other things are working if anyone is compatible or comfortable to download APKs from the uh, internet browser and then you can do install the apps then it's okay like some unsupported apps. So we can see we are getting a 610 MB normally while I have not installed any apps but I have installed it normally. Uh, last time when I was trying this uh, ROM, I have installed some of the apps while playing some games. The battery is draining, not like faster, but still draining faster than other ROMs. I don't know why, but performance is uh, like literally medium good, and we can play games too good. And if you are facing some issues like uh, uh, some issues are there, uh, if you're gaming and some blurry issues there, you can download the game tuner. Game Tuner by Samsung. So yes, you can download this app, and this will help. You can tweak it inside a balance and modes. So uh, this was the review, and there is nothing much like the apps. And to the benchmark is also the same. Like uh, this is the calculator. All things are working. 
so nothing more to show you okay one more thing is added like the main private mode so uh, going to lock screen and security we have got the private mode here oh sorry confirm and when you enable this it will ask for a pin or password so wait for it so i will input a pin then then okay what happened has it done off so it failed to turn on try again so i think my password is wrong or what so it's not turning on to now i am making this video and it's not turning i don't know why it's not turning on i have flashed the normal kernel uh, uh, the kernel which is like the may patch so I, it, and it has a private mode but it's not working i don't know why so this was a honest review of this enigma version 6 no other doubts it's working really good and battery is some issue so those who want good performance you can install this app and it's fully debloated so there is no like uh, the space issue and all you will get some extra free uh, space to add your apps so this was the review and for those who want to see the installation process you can stop here and uh, if you don't want to see the installation process you can go uh, don't watch my video now uh, like you can end my video here and if you want the installation process then wait here so let's start with the installation process now this was the honest review so to install this ROM let's just uh, power off the device So you have also got the reboot options so you can go into recovery menu so this is the uh, volume up button the home button and the power button just press it at the same time and remove it once the boot logo appears now just go to backup backup your old rom and all go to wipe advanced wipe dial back uh, cache data and system no need to wipe the internal storage and SD card. After wiping, let's go to install section and okay, not this. Go down here and here is uh, here are these files. So first let's this Enigma version 6 asset UX, then the Optimix kernel or any oh, sorry, then the edge features, and then any kernel if you want the stock J7 kernel, uh, which is uh, the December it uh, all the three has a permissive and private mode so you can flash any one so i will flash the may one which is the latest and now i will flash it so there is no auto mine installer that is good because normally it does not have any options for like extra options like camera options and all mods so that is good so let this rom install get installed so all the files have been flashed for successfully and it's rebooting now because I have set it to auto reboot so this boot logo is not the enigma version 6 boot logo I will make a separate video on it because it's supported for both J7 16 and 15 this is the Samsung asset boot animation So this looks more original not the smaller font one so let's wait for it uh, and i will uh, tell you what is the first boot and then i will quit this video so let's say ws is booted up let me show you the first boot uh, empty ram let's go to ram and just clear everything Five forty three. That's a good amount of MB RAM we are getting free. So yes, performance wise, this is good. But battery life is somewhat an issue. So okay, only battery life I thought is an issue because the Play Store issue can be fixed by downloading APKs, and that's not like hard. So guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you really like this video, press the like button. If you don't, press the dislike button. Also show the feedback by comment uh, feedback in the comment section, and just uh, press the like button. Yes, for this video. 
and also subscribe this channel yes then we will be a big team uh, like and also the new enigma videos and if there will be any fixes uh, will be coming soon so goodbye and yes please subscribe bye